Everybody check it out. It is November 7, 2024, and I am back outside with my sea star. And there's a old adage in the astronomy hobby that your best telescope is the one you use the most. This is the situation uh, that I'm faced with in my backyard. Uh, my neighbor's trying to cook dinner, and he's got all the lights on. And this is kind of, um, well, it is what it is. And basically, I have decided to try to do a mosaic of M31. So I've got my, tel my not telescope, but the Sea Star set up on my table in my backyard. And we're going to go stargazing and see what we can do with a mosaic of M31 tonight. All right, so after we find the object, I do have to remember to re-autofocus. I don't want to rely on the fact that uh, I'm going to use the same focus that I had the last time I used a C-Star. And if you check the battery icon, you can see that it is charging now with an external battery pack. It's a talent cell battery pack. I'll leave a link to that down below, but that is the one accessory for the C-Star that that I am using. I'm not using the levels at all, e either of the levelers, the newer levelers. When I have tested them out, I found that the ball head leveler, well, it seemed to go a lot easier than I expected. No, no worries. No, no worries. All right, there you go. That's my neighbor telling me he's going to turn off the lights. Very cool. All right, horizontal calibration succeeded. Moving to target again, that is a good feature. Start enhancing image. Auto focusing. All right, so I stopped the enhancing immediately and I wanted to auto focus first. Then we will go into the star map and do the framing for the uh, mosaic. All right, so let's uh, look at the framing. So here we are going to use the diagonal. First thing we're going to do is go two times. That's the maximum. I did hear in the beta that the um, maximum frame was three times during the beta. So uh, yeah, I guess they realize that um, it would take too long to Image it three times. So here, let me, whoops. Let me uh, try to frame this a little bit better. Let me try diagonal a little bit more. And once you tap out of that previous window, you can uh, kind of make an adjustment but it actually looks pretty good. You can see it really doesn't get the entire galaxy in there. Let me see if I could do some uh, unique angling here. Maybe get more of the galaxy in there. That looks pretty good. So, all right. So from here, all you do to start the mosaic is you hit go to and you just let it run. So we focused, we've done the framing, you can see how it's going to move around in this window here, and this is awesome. Object is centered. Start enhancing image. All right, one thing I did want to point out is it looks to uh, be good weather conditions for dew to build up on the optics. So what I'm gonna do here is Go back to the main screen. I'm going to go to the options here and I'm going to click on anti do So this uses up more battery power, but since I have the external battery pack connected, it shouldn't be a problem. But I want to make sure that I have the do heater turned on here. All right, so that is it. Um, what I will do is I will take screenshots and show the mosaic building during the next hour or so and include that. Uh, toward the tail end of the video here and what you're going to see is whatever I get for my final image.
All right, we're checking back after an hour and 18 minutes and check that out. The stack has failed and this is continuing to happen now because the sea star after this amount of time is now pointing straight up at the zenith and it's kind of uh, well known that the sea star has a big problem following objects and tracking when those objects are at the zenith so our mosaic for the evening of m31 has sort of come to an end and it looks like this is yeah there you go it looks like this is the best mosaic picture that i'll be able to get tonight and i will contrast this with the mosaic that i took uh, manually about a month or so before the new firmware update with the framing mode and the ability to have you know, the C star automatically create mosaics. So as a reminder, what I'm gonna do to process this final image is to share, and I'm gonna take this screenshot right here, and this is a screenshot that will likely be the final product that you'll see at the end of the video. Clear skies, everybody. Thank you.